Okay, folks, as promised, Joe Biden has nominated a black woman to the Supreme Court, Ketanji Brown Jackson. Now, for all her credentials, uh, we're going to have to have some questions over whether she's the most qualified person for the job. Why is that? Well, because when your first and primary criteria is pick a black woman, well, that naturally is going to exclude everybody else who isn't a black woman. And what if, what if, there is a more qualified candidate out there than her. In fact, lawyer uh, and professor Ilya Shapiro has uh, come into hot water for basically saying that, look, I know who the best person for the job is. It's this Indian lawyer over here. And, you know, if you pick this Indian lawyer, you're going to you're going to get, uh, you know, some of the minority cred and you're going to get legal excellence and you're going to get the whole package. But now we've got uh, Joe Biden wanting to pick a black woman. So since I've picked, you know, since I know this guy is the best person for the job, we're naturally going to get somebody who's less qualified for the job. Well, that, of course, is his opinion, and he stated it as though it's an objective fact, so it, he kind of got into hot water over that and just saying things inelegantly. But Tucker Carlson, of course, has doubled down on the whole thing by basically saying, okay, well, why don't we see Katanji Brown-Jackson's LSAT scores? Now, people are saying, well, this is obviously racist because, you know, nobody ever asked about a Supreme Court justice's LSAT scores before this particular Supreme Court justice, and that's absolutely true. But who asked about a particular Supreme Court justice's race? you got to understand, we're talking about two things, two things that should not matter what, whatsoever. The LSAT score in one case, which is really only a criteria for getting into law school, you know, the idea of how your aptitude might be once you get into the college. And then the other thing is race, which doesn't affect judicial philosophy at all. If, we, if Clarence Thomas didn't prove that, I don't know what he did prove. So where you've got this LSAT score on one hand, you've got this RSAT score that Joe Biden's going on on the other hand. And actually it's more like an RG score, SAT score because it's race and gender, but let's just call it an RSAT score for right now because it, that's gonna segue into something else that I saw today which really upset me. And it upsets me because of the lost potential that I see in it. It was a post made by a young man who was in a club that I myself am in. Uh, it is a club who is led by a black man. And this black man imparts ad advice of a certain type. I don't want to like uh, go into detail or get into too much identifying info because I don't want to embarrass the young black man who typed the post that I'm going to read to you. But basically he said about his founder, he says, the founder of this club that he and I are both in, he says, I've been watching and reading your material this past week and I've learned so much. You got me ready to stop practicing and start doing. Okay, so far so good. Next he says, it's even more appreciated because I'm learning from someone that looks like me. And when I hear something like that, I'm, I'm learning from someone that looks like me. That makes me sad. That makes me very, very sad. Now, of course, young black man learning from older and yet still young black man, younger than I am, and but very much more successful. I'm in the same club. I'm learning from someone who doesn't look like me. Is that an impediment? No. So what is this young black man saying? Is he saying that if if this information that he's picking up from this other more this more successful black man, if this information were coming from a successful white man, then he wouldn't want to pick it up, then he wouldn't want to absorb the lessons of success because that person didn't look like him. Why is that not a problem for me? You know, when I, when I would hear about historical figures back in time, when I would read about historical figures, whether it be Frederick Douglass, Harriet Tubman, these were not people who I said, well, you know, I'm white, they're black, I, I can't really learn any lessons from them. No. That would be like saying, well, you know, I can't really learn from anything from Jesus. He was a Jew, after all. <laughs> I mean, it's just this whole idea that you have to check someone's RSAT score before you're going to consider that person an authority on something is really insane. And I wonder how often people are being taught to think in this way, to think that unless the person who is doing this job or who has done this job before 
looks like you, well then there's no pathway between you and that person. You know, that is something, that is, that is a mode of thinking that I believe has gotten into so many people's minds. You know, I, I look at Eminem, you know, a white rapper. Do you think he got as successful as he is by, by learning only from other white rappers? I don't think so. I mean, look at Iggy Azalea, another white rapper. Do you think that she patterned her speech after the language of white rappers? I, I don't think so. When, when you look at people who have been successful in, in various ways, who, who clearly have been influenced by black artists, they didn't let that stop them. They didn't let the fact that somebody who didn't look like them had inspired them, had taught them, they didn't let that be a barrier. But how many, how many people out there are letting that be a barrier? How many people are teaching children it should be a barrier? That's a very, very hard thing to think that there are actually people who are putting stumbling blocks in children's way. The same children that they say, well, we really want to see our, our children succeed. But do you really? Do you? If you're going to basically put a mindset into these children that says, you know, you have to find somebody who looks like you before you can learn. God, that's it's so disturbing. It's so frustrating. And I wonder just how much it's, it's being taught out there from, from one generation to the next. If you, if you are a parent, if you are a teacher, if you are you know, anybody in a position of authority and you are giving a child this kind of advice, don't learn from somebody who doesn't look like you, oh God, you, you need to step down from whatever role it is that you think you're doing well because you're not doing it well. What you need to do is tell your child, look, don't care about that person's RSAT score. Don't care about what that person looks like. You put yourself in that person's shoes. You do that. You make the effort. It doesn't matter how hard it might be for you. You know, if I'm, if I'm looking at somebody who's in a wheelchair and I'm trying to imagine myself living a life in a wheelchair, that's, that's an effort for me because I can walk. But I can try. I can at least try. And maybe I'll learn things. Maybe I'll learn things about, you know, how the difficulties of that kind of life. Likewise, if you're looking at, some, at somebody who is in a wheelchair, is looking at somebody who's walking and thinking, okay, well, maybe I can't walk, but if I want to learn, you know, how to play good basketball or something, like there is such a thing as wheelchair basketball, maybe it's not just people in wheelchairs that you need to learn from for that. Not really sure if that's a really good analogy, so, eh, whatever. I'm just saying, don't limit yourself. Don't limit yourself to looking only at people who look like you and thinking you can't learn unless the person does. Because if you do that, you're making life harder than it has to be for yourself. And this doesn't and it doesn't matter whether you're white, black, Asian, Latino, whatever. Go ahead and put yourself in the shoes of whoever you need to learn from and accept advice and teaching from whoever it is you need to learn from because the only thing that matters is the skills. The only thing that matters is what you can absorb, the, t the, the techniques, the knowledge, what you can absorb from that person. That's what really matters. And, you know, I'm sorry if some, if some pitiful RSET score is what you have to, to place in the way before you feel like you can get entry into that kind of knowledge because you can get it from anybody. You can get it from anybody. You just have to let yourself. All right. So I'm Mike Partika. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you later.